gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton Middle School. It's Hopkinton Hillers Middle School Football on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call today, John Ritz on camera, and today it's the Hopkinton Hillers who are 1-0 and on the season, meeting up with the Mashpee Falcons. And right now the captain's at the center of the field for the coin toss. And for the Hillers, you got Wyatt Stevens, number seven, Andrew Peters, number nine, and also number 31, Gavin Andrew as the captains. And Mashpee is going to be receiving as the teams will get together for one little last rally. And we'll be just about ready to go here at Hopkinton Middle School. It is certainly a windy afternoon today, so that should certainly affect this game a little bit. Perhaps you won't see as much passing with the winds coming in here in Hopkinton today. It is Friday, September 21st. This game was originally supposed to happen this past Tuesday, but was pushed to this Friday due to weather. Of course, this is the Hopkinton Hillers first season having a middle school team, and they had a great debut last week on Wednesday, September 12th. The Hillers were able to take down Martha's Vineyard, and they did that by a final score of 22 to six. A very impressive win, and the quarterback for the Hillers, Wyatt Stevens, had a great day as he was able to rush for a couple touchdowns and throw for a touchdown and also was able to complete two two-point conversions in the victory and all the points were scored in the first half the second half much more of a defensive affair as we are just about ready for action here the Hillers will kick off right to left across your screen and on the kickoff duties Looks like that is going to be Isaiah Caravilla. Who wears number 16. And in the last game uh, broadcast, due to how they're listed on the roster, we did confuse Isaiah Caravilla and White Stevens, but they did switch numbers after the roster was released. A good return up the far side, and the tackle is made along the sideline on the return for Mashpee there. That was number 34, who actually isn't listed on the roster. So Mashpee will get together and start off the first offensive possession of this game, and they're gonna start from their own 30-yard line. The Mashpee offense led by quarterback Aiden Cuozo. Mashpee, of course, has a very good high school program as well. They're consistently competing for state championships or in the playoff picture. So you're getting a look here at some future Mash P All-Stars, I'm sure, and a great job by the Hillers defense charging through that offensive front, making the tackle there. Devin Canty, soon as the ball was handed off, Devin Canty, an eighth grader, comes through and forces Mash P for a loss of about three yards. So that'll make it second down and 13 to go as Mashpee will huddle up. And this Hiller's defensive front, they look pretty good. They look pretty big for uh, middle schoolers. And you're gonna see many of these Hillers, I'm sure, be stars at the high school level. A lot of athletic talent at the middle school level for the Hillers. Here's a run here up the left side hash marks. And that time it's Chase Weinstein for Mashpee and he's brought down after a gain of about four. So that'll bring up third and nine to go for Mashpee. As the Falcons will talk things over and sub out some players, you'll see just about everybody on both these rosters get in there. It's a great thing to have a middle school program because it really gets you ready for the high school level. And it helps kids determine that if they want to play at the high school level or not. I formation for Mashpee, receiver to either side. It's going to be a pitch to the tailback, and he'll sweep to the right and not gain very much on the tackle that time. That was Wyatt Stevens, who's quickly becoming a star for this middle school team. 
And that'll force a fourth down for the Falcons. And I'll tell you, looking at some of these Hillers players and what they were able to do last week in their first game, you could see some of these guys at the freshman level <laughs> star on the varsity team. One player to keep an eye on, Wyatt Stevens, an eighth grader who could play quarterback, defensive end, great on both sides of the ball, a lot of speed, good arm as well. As Mashpee is going to line it up with Cuozo out of the gun, back to either side, high snap. This is big trouble, picks it up around the 13 yard line and he's brought down by Wyatt Stevens. A big loss there. And the Hillers are going to take over deep in Mashpee territory. They will start at the Mashpee 13 yard line. So we will get a look at the Hillers offense for the first time today. And we'll see who they put in that quarterback. It's gonna to be Tommy Chatton, the quarterback today. And you'll notice at the middle school level, they're gonna give all these kids experience at many different positions. The team certainly like to win, but it's more about experience and learning the game of football. As the Hillers are going to line it up, it'll actually have Robert Leitcher as the quarterback. He's an eighth grader. He'll line it up with a back, and he'll hand it off. Not much of a gain there by Andrew Budden. A good job by the Mashpee defense. On the tackle that time was Mark Lavoie. And that'll bring up second down for the Hillers. And about 13 to go, as they lost three on that last attempt. Robert Lischer in that quarterback, an eighth grader. See if the Hillers try to throw towards the end zone at all, deep in Mashpee territory. As Lisher's gonna line up with Andrew Budden behind him. It is a four receiver set, two to either side. Takes the snap, it's a pitch to Budden. And here comes Budden to the near side. Excuse me, that is actually Christian Pereira, and Pereira's gonna break loose into the end zone. Touchdown, Hillers. Hopkinton on the board. A six nothing lead. Touchdown, Christian Pereira. A nice way to start for the Hillers. And that was about a 16 yard touchdown run by Christian Pereira. And now they will attempt a two point conversion here. And they're gonna line it up with Lisher in the pistol this time and his back is Christian Pereira. He will pitch it over to Pereira. We have a flag on the play, and I think this is gonna move the Hillers back five. False start there. Hillers will keep the offense on the field to attempt two. Tommy Chatton coming into the game for Hopkinton. Robert Lisher over at the sidelines talking to coach. And more than likely with the deeper situation, they might try to throw here. Litcher out of the gun. His back is Christian Ferreira. Two receivers either side, takes a snap, throws it to the air side, just a little bit high there over the head of his intended target, Isaiah Curavilla. So the two point conversion is no good. The score remains six to nothing Hopkinton here in the first quarter of play. And no scoreboard here, so we'll do our best to keep you aware of how much time is left. But the Hillers will kick off to Mashpee after an impressive drive. Took them three plays to find the end zone. They started at the Mashpee 13 yard line. And the result was a Christian Pereira 16 yard touchdown run. For the touchdown, no good on the two point conversion. A 
Isaiah Caravilla will kick it away for Hopkinton. Caravilla, wobbly kick there, gets about 15 yards on it, and it's going to be returned from the 30 yard line. Pretty good return here by Steven Jones as he went to the far side. It would have been nothing, but he was able to find a little bit of room for at least a yard or two before Kevin Cousins, a seventh grader, brought him down. Kevin Cousins, I believe, is the younger brother of Kyle Cousins, who was a star on the Hillers' varsity defense last season during a year which they ended up winning the South Sectional Championship. So Mashpee has their offense back on the field, hoping for a better result. But I have to give props to this Hillers defense. They have just looked amazing this season so far. And they have some stars in the making here at the middle school level. A terrific turnout today, a whole lot of support for the middle school team. And perhaps we'll get the uh, varsity team coming over after their practice to root them on as they did last week. Varsity team practicing behind us right now, getting ready for Norwood, which is a Saturday game. It's going to be a pitch to the running back, Stephen Williams, who will sweep to the near side. He's pushed out of bounds. Good gain there as he gets to the 40. That should move the chains. Brought out of bounds by Gavin Andrew. So it's first and actually they're going to mark him just short of the first down. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds. So they will mark Mashpee at the 37, which brings up a second and three to go. Aiden Cuozo in at quarterback. The line up under center, eye formation. Receiver spread out to either side. And it's going to be another handoff and breaking up the middle for a big gain. Steven Williams, he's going to take it to the house. And Mashpee strikes back, tie game. A big run there, Steven Williams. He takes it 63 yards for the touchdown. So a 63 yard run there, now Mashpee Going to attempt to go ahead here with the two point conversion. They will line it up out of the eye. And it's going to be Williams once again up the middle and in. Two point conversion is good. Eight to six, Mash P. Look out for Steven Williams. Some serious speed breaking through this defense. I think that'll be Mashpee's go-to guy this game with the wheels he's showing off out there. So a good offensive battle, it looks like, here in the early goings of this middle school contest. Mashpee will kick it away. They'll tee up the football. That's what they do at this level. They tend to put it on the tee. And if the wind's bad, they will have a holder. It looks like they are indeed going to have a holder, perhaps. Well, let's see. Well, they'll lean it to the side on the tee, and we're ready to go. Jesse Hickey, the kicker. And it's going to be a onside kick, and it looks like Mashpee recovers. Onside kick to the near side. Great execution by the Falcons. Jumping all over it to recover is someone who is not listed by number on the roster, number 84 for Mashpee. Of course, uh, there's a lot of changes with names and players at the middle school level. Sometimes you get players coming in as the season goes on. 
But Mashpee sends their offense back out after recovering the onside kick. And here we go, they're trying to take a big lead here. High formation, receiver to either side. And it's gonna be a pitch back to Williams. It gets by him, and he's gonna pick it up in the backfield and fumble it, but then cover it up. A good job by Williams keeping possession there, as that for sure would have been a touchdown if the Hillers were able to get to it. Mashpee will be marked at their own 42-yard line. They need to get all the way to the Hillers' 33 for the first down, so quite a ways to go. They got 25 yards to go for the first down. So a second and 25 for the Falcons. You can hear that wind coming in and it's supposed to get more windy as the evening goes on. It's gonna be Williams getting the call here out of the eye and here he comes to the near side, working his way past a number of tacklers and he stays on his feet, pushing defenders forward and then he's thrown out of bounds. Good run there by Williams, and making the stop was Justin Sokol. Justin Sokol related to Nick Sokol, Miller's varsity star on the line. And will bring up third down for Mashpee. They are marked at their own 43 yard line. So gain of six on that last run. But they have 19 yards to go for the first down. I formation once again. Williams in the backfield. He'll get the call, run up the middle. And a great stop by the Hillers defense. Making the initial hit was Wyatt Stevens and then Andrew Peters came in. Good job up front by Hopkinton's defense. That brings up fourth down for Mashpee. And as I mentioned, this is middle school football on HCAM, and at this level, it's not about wins, losses, it's about learning the game, learning the execution, and developing your skills. So they're gonna keep the offense on the field here to go for it. Fourth and about 19 to go for Mashpee. Can the Hillers defense make a big stop? It's going to be eye formation once again for Mashpee, receiver to either side. Williams is the up back. Fakes the handoff, throws up the middle, and it's just over the head of his intended target. A pretty good throw by Aiden Cuozo, but a little too much mustard as it goes over the head of Zach Childs, his intended target, and the Hiller's offense will take over. Pretty good fake there by Cuozo, and then took it towards the near side, and good throw downfield, certainly showing off the arm there. Hopkinton will switch sides, it looks like, so that is going to be the end of the quarter. So we will switch sides. It's Mashpee leading Hopkinton eight to six. And we're going to go right into the second quarter here. So the offense stays on the field for the middle school Hillers. And a new quarterback for Hopkinton as well. It's going to be handoff. An attempt up the middle is stopped. Sam Pantera in at quarterback. Sam Pantera, excuse me, and Dan White was the running back. Good stop there by the Mash P defense. That's the way middle school football works. You pretty much see new players every quarter. So you'll see a whole new offense this quarter for the Hillers pretty much. They're gonna get everybody in there, get them some experience. And that's what it's all about. Second down, it was a small loss on that last run attempt. Sam Pantera in at quarterback. The running back is Dan White. Pantera is going to throw. 
Throws up the left side and it's hauled in. A big reception there, making the catch. Paul Lischer, the eighth grader. That'll move the chains for Hopkinton as they are marked deep in Mashpee territory all the way at the 24 yard line. A huge gain there. That was a gain of 33 yards on that last reception. Quarterback is Pantera, he's gonna hand it off. And on the run there was Frankie Incutto, who was stopped, trying to come to the near side. A pretty good stop by the defender, Mark Lavoy. Second down for the Hillers and about 12 to go. It'll be interesting to see how they use Sam Pantera, the seventh grade quarterback in the game for the Hillers. Certainly seems to have an arm, so perhaps we'll see some throwing here by Hopkinton. Panther is going to line it up with a back to his left. It's Frankie and Cutto, the back. Two receivers spread out to the far side. He'll hand it off. And it's a sweep towards the near side. Maybe a couple yards there by Nkuto before he's dragged out of bounds by a couple of defenders on the initial stop, Aiden Cuozo. That brings up third down for the Hillers. And nine to go. We're in the second quarter here. An 8-6 lead for Mashpee. Hillers bring the offense back out. It's Pantera out of the pistol this time. He'll take the snap, rolls to his left, eludes one tackler, and then he's brought down after a gain of a couple. And the big man able to get a couple yards for the Hillers. Showing off the muscle there. That does bring up fourth down for Hopkinton, so maybe we'll see a shot at the end zone here. Ball is marked just past the 20. Hillers huddle it up and get back to the line. Let's see what they have in store here. They are gonna line up four receivers. And they're going to put Pantera in the gun. And he will throw to Masterson. Here's Will Masterson, and he's brought down. Good stop by the Mashpee defense. It looks like they might have the football as well. So I believe Mashpee does have the football, but it was fourth down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So a couple of good defensive stands here on these last couple of drives. This game started off with both offenses finding the end zone. Well, first the Hillers made a nice defensive stop on Mashpee's first drive, and then Hopkinton found the end zone, but quickly after Mashpee was able to find the end zone. The two scores were a 16-yard touchdown run by Christian Pereira for Hopkinton and a 63-yard touchdown run by Stephen Williams for Mashpee. Here come the Falcons to the line as Cuozo is going to line it up under center in the backfield, that's Williams. And it will be a pitch to Williams who drops it. He's in trouble in the backfield. The Hillers saying they have it. Let's see what the officials say. And it looks like it'll stay in Mashpee possession. So Williams was able to recover. That brings up second down. They did lose a few yards on that play. They lost, looks like about five yards on the play. So second and 15 to go for Mashpee.
Cuozo brings his offense back to the line. High formation in the backfield, a receiver to either side. And it's going to be to Williams once again. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. On the stop was Wyatt Stevens. He brought it to about the 20. It's a gain of three or four there by Mashpee. Third down for the Falcons. And they have about 13 to go. Falcons going to line it up out of the eye once again. With a receiver to either side, and it's going to be a pitch to the up back. And he'll gain a couple before being brought down. That time on the run, it was Chase Weinstein. Does bring up fourth down for Mashby. This Hiller's defensive front holding up strong here against this speedy Mashby offense. The Hillers have played very well defensively in this game so far, making some big stops. And they're doing a great job also at sniffing out the run and what direction it's going to go. Pretty nice afternoon for football. Great football conditions today. Temperatures in the 60s, a nice breeze. This is what you envision when you picture football conditions. And it is going to be dropped by the running back, but he's able to pick it back up. Brought down for a loss, it was Mason Diggins on the attempt. The Hillers defense comes through big and makes the stop and Hopkinton's offense will take over deep in Mashpee territory. The ball is going to be marked at the Mashpee 10. If my calculations are correct. Of course, our vantage point a little off to the side, so it's not the most ideal for seeing the yardage. As it's an empty backfield for the Hillers, they're gonna throw to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Robert Litcher is able to find Tommy Chatton for the Hopkinton touchdown. 10 yard touchdown pass there. And just like that, the Hillers back on top, 12 to eight. That is good execution by Hopkinton. What a throw by Robert Litcher. Finding Tommy Chatton. We're gonna go for two now. Litcher takes the snap, throws to his right, and it's hauled in, but stops short. This is Tyler Mulvaney, an eighth grader. So we'll remain Hopkinton 12, Mash P8 here in the second quarter. And the Hillers will kick off to the Falcons. A terrific offensive drive there. And way to take advantage of starting deep in Mash P territory. Sailors will get set to kick it away left to right across your screen. It looks like we have a good battle going on here. This game could go down to the wire. Hiller's first score came in the first quarter. 16 yard touchdown run by Christian Pereira. Now a nice 10 yard pass. From Litcher to Tommy Chatton. Kick 
Kicking it away for Hopkinton is Isaiah Cruvilla. And the ball falls off the tee, so we'll have to tee that one back up. Here goes Cruvilla, set to kick it away. End over end, a nice kick. They'll sail all the way back to about the 25. And a return up the far side to about the 35 and maybe a fumble, but it does look like Mashpee recovered. It is going to be first down. I was waiting for the signal on the recovery. It does appear that Mashpee will maintain possession. So the Falcons bring their offense out and are going to try to respond to the second touchdown of the day by the Hillers, which took place just a few minutes ago to make it 12 to eight. The quarterback is Aiden Cuozo. He's gonna line it up with an empty backfield. Oh, no, he's actually gonna line it up as a slot receiver that time, excuse me, and he'll get the handoff and we'll try to take it up the right side hash marks and he is able to get a few yards making the tackle there for the hillers is an unlisted number eight so mashpee will have the ball at the 43 yard line and they will face a second and five Mason Diggins in at quarterback for Mashpee. It looks like we uh, had time called by the refs. They say they are ready to go, so here we go. Diggins is going to pitch it to Cuozo in the backfield, and Cuozo brought down by a handful of tacklers. No, he's still on his feet, able to elude a couple of tackle attempts. But he is brought down after about a yard or two. Rocco Horgan providing the initial pressure was followed up by Devin Canty. That brings up third down for Mashpee. Third and about. Uh, looks like seven to go, but we're gonna have a timeout for this next snap, we'll take a timeout as well. It's Hopkinton leading Mashpee 12 to eight here in the second quarter on H Camp. Welcome back to coverage of Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. 12-8 lead for the Hillers. And they're gonna try to make a big stop here on third down for Mashpee. The defense has been holding up strong since they gave up the, that touchdown in the first quarter. Mason Diggins under center. He's going to hand it off to the up back. It's Williams getting the call. Up the far side he goes, and out of bounds he goes. There is a flag on the play as well. I think there might have been a hold on Mashpee, and there was. That'll push him back. I figured there was a hold there. As there was a number of defenders near Williams, but unable to get to him. So the Falcons will be pushed back. Ball is going to be marked at the 25. And it'll remain third down. Mashpee needs to get all the way to the 48 for the first down. So 
quite a few yards to go here. Excuse me, uh, the vantage point getting to me again. That's actually the 30 yard line they're marked at. So 18 to go. Here's Williams getting the call. Up the middle he goes. Around a couple of tacklers, breaking loose, and big yardage there. Williams across midfield, a first down and a bit more. And that'll move the chains for the Falcons. Steven Williams showing off the wheels for Mashpee, just charging through defenders. Up to the line go the Falcons. Mason Diggins under center eye formation in the backfield. And it's going to be Williams once again. This time the Hillers defense ready for it. A number of Hillers making the tackle there. Leading the way was Wyatt Stevens. Justin Sokol also in on the action. We have a timeout called by Mashpee. Here late in the second quarter. 12 to eight lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Timeout on the field, we'll take one as well. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Continuing on here in the second quarter, Mashpee has something brewing on offense. And they would love to find the end zone and retake the lead on the Hillers. But this Hopkinton defense, they've been holding strong, so let's see if they can keep holding strong. Diggins, the quarterback under center. To Williams, he goes with the pitch. Here comes Williams on the sweep. Eludes one tackler. Up the sideline, pushed out of bounds. And he's pushed out at the 45. Good gain there, and that's actually enough to move the chains. Gavin Andrew was the one to knock Williams out of bounds. And actually, let's see where he stepped out. Okay, so they do move the first down marker inside of the 35. So a first and 10 for Mashpee from the Hillers 35 yard line. High formation, it's Williams. Here he goes, trying to take it to the far side. He's brought down on a good defensive stand by the Hillers, Andrew Peters making the tackle. I'll bring up second down for the Falcons. Got about eight to go for the first down. And that's gonna do it for the first half of play. It is going to be a 12 to six lead for the Hopkinton Hillers as we head into the half. Six in the first quarter, six in the second. Match P, their only touchdown and the two point conversion came in the first quarter. We got ourselves a great game here at Hopkinton Middle School. 12 to six, uh, 12 to eight at the half. Hopkinton leading Mashpee. It's Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. My name is Connor. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Alma Gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be uh, 
Camp TV. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back to Hopkinton Middle School. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz, our cameraman. And as we enter the second half, it is a 12 to 8 lead for the Hillers over Mashpee. After the first quarter, it was 8 to 6. Both teams able to score a touchdown. Mashpee was able to convert for the two. Hillers able to find the end zone once again. In the second quarter, a beauty of a pass from Robert Lisher to Tommy Chatton. And now Mashpee set to kick it away, left to right across your screen. It's an onside kick, and it is going to be recovered by Mashpee, I believe. No, the Hillers have it. I thought one of the Mashpee players landed on it, but the Hillers will indeed have it. Second time we've seen the Onside kick attempt at a mash pee today. So nice job by the Hillers being heads up that time for it. I think the first time it surprised them a bit. And we'll see who the Hillers have in there to start this third quarter at offense. And they're gonna bring back out Sam Pantera. As the quarterback, number 87. Panther is going to line up with a back to his right. Two receivers to either side. Takes a snap. And a little dump pass to Masterson. Masterson up the far side. He goes. And some decent yardage there. And about five or six there before he's brought down. That'll put the Hillers at the... 43 yard line in Mashpee territory. So second and five. Hiller's offense has something brewing here. Sam Pantera set for the snap. Back to his right, two receivers either side. Takes the snap, looking downfield. He's going to throw up the middle. It's intercepted. Mashpee has it. Intercepted at about the 28. And returned up the near side into Hiller's territory. Great heads up defensive play there. And on the interception, it was Mark Lavoie, whose name you've heard a lot tonight if you've been watching. He's made some great defensive plays for Mashpee. So the Falcons have the ball in Hiller's territory. And they have it at the 48 yard line. Ashby trying to sub out some players. Aiden Cuozo, the quarterback. He's done a nice job under center here running this offense. He's going to line it up out of the eye, a receiver to either side. And he dropped the snap, cover it right up. Good heads up play there to keep possession at least. And that brings up second down for Mashpee and a small loss there. Ball is marked back at the 49, second and 11. Yeah. Here comes the Falcons back up to the line. Eye formation, receiver to either side. And it's a run up the middle by Chase Weinstein who's able to find a little bit of room. He's marked inside the 45. We'll put him at the 43. That's third and four for Mashpee. So 
The offense taking their time to talk things over. What will they do here? Will we see a run by Williams or perhaps a pass? A little switch up. High formation once again. Receiver spread out to either side. Quozo's gonna take this himself. Up the middle, eludes one tackler, and he's brought down by a herd of tacklers. It looks like short of the first down. That is going to bring up fourth down for Mashpee. And actually, that was a small loss there as he was trying to get a couple yards forward. But the Hillers defense stepped up big. And the ball is marked at the 44. It is fourth and five for Mashpee. They will keep the offense out there and go for it. As expected at this level. High formation. Quozo takes the snap, and he'll go to the fullback this time, or actually will be the up back, and he's gonna take it to the near side. Dragged out of bounds by a number of tacklers, but it is close. We'll see where they mark him. That was some great deception there by Quozo. Fake to the fullback, went to the up back. And that's enough to move the chains. Nice job there by Mashpee. That's a good way to execute a jet sweep. Some good blocking up front. High formation once again. And the snap is dropped by Cuozo. It was covered up by Lavoie. So it stays in mash B possession. That will be a loss of a yard or two. And it looks like they mark him back, right back at the line of scrimmage. So second and about 10 to go. Great turnout here at Hopkinton Middle School to take in some middle school football action. Hiller's varsity team getting ready for their Saturday afternoon game with Norwood just behind us. Hiller's varsity one and one on the season. Tough loss to Needham last Friday. High formation once again for Mashpee. Quozo with the pitch, and it is going to be stopped in the backfield. A great defensive play there for the Hillers. And it was Seamus Murphy who came through to make the stop. That brings up third down for Mashpee. Third and looks like about 13 to go. So the story of this game has quickly turned into how good this Hillers defense has been. They have been stopping anything to come at them in the last couple of quarters. An attempt to set the edge on the near side, but not much room there. Was bringing the ball carrier out of bounds was Wyatt Stevens. And that brings up fourth down for Mashpee. Ball is marked at the 45 yard line. And they need to get to the 29, so fourth and about 16 to go. Mashpee, you might want to think about a pass attempt here. Try to pick up these big yards needed for the first down. Cuozo under center eye formation in the backfield. Cuozo, he's going to throw up the middle and jumping up and nearly knocking it down. 
was Gavin Andrew, and also nearly fell into the receiver's hands behind him. But a great defensive play nonetheless by Gavin Andrew, and the Hillers will have the football. Turnover on downs. I believe that's the third time today this defense has forced a turnover on downs, getting the job done. Hillers will start from their own 45 yard line. It'll be Robert Lischer back in the game as the quarterback. Lischer has a touchdown pass to his credit so far today. And that's going to be the end of a very defensive third quarter. Great defensive stand by the Hillers, and we will enter the fourth quarter. Hopkinton will have the ball, and they have the 12 to eight lead on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Ready for the fourth quarter, the Hillers have the football and a 12 to eight lead. They're working from their own 45. The quarterback is Robert Lischer. He'll take the snap and he'll hand it off and a good run. To the near side, hard tackle, but a great run there by Hopkinton. On the carry was Kevin Cousins, a seventh grader, getting some good yardage there. I'll bring up second down for the Hillers, and they are just shy of moving the chains. It is second and one to go for Hopkinton. Kevin Cousins showing off the speed on the sweep. Lisher going to line up out of the gun, back to his right to receivers either side. Takes the snap, he's gonna throw. Throws to his left and it is just over the reach of his intended target, Paul Lisher, his brother, I believe. Bring up third and one to go. Well, that's a good situation to throw in. You got a yard to go. Why not take the opportunity to pick up some big yards? And now I'm sure the Hiller is going to try to work it up the middle. The eighth grade quarterback, Robert Lisher, back out to the huddle. Lisher out of the gun, back to his left, two receivers either side. And he's gonna take this one himself. First down and a little bit more. Here he comes, up the near side, eluding a couple of tackles, and he's brought down inside the 25. A big run there by Robert Lisher. That'll move the chains for the Hillers. Ball marked just inside the 25. A first and 10 from the Mashpee 24. Robert Lisher has done a great job at the quarterback position. He's already led to one Hillers touchdown, trying to lead to another right here. Line it up out of the pistol, back to his left, two receivers either side. And he's gonna keep this one himself and be brought down in the backfield. A good stop there by the Mashpee defense. Making the initial wrap was Steven Williams. That brings up second down for Hopkinton. And 13 to go.
officials making sure they have the ball sp spotted properly. And ready to go. Sam Pantera in at quarterback for Hopkinton. Will Masterson running back to his right. Two receivers either side. He'll pitch to Masterson, and Masterson brought down in the backfield. A good tackle there by Jesse Hickey for Mashpee. Sniffed that one out perfectly. That brings up third down from the 35, and it looks like we're going to have a timeout called here in the fourth quarter. The Hiller is going to talk things over offensively. They have the 12 to 8 lead. It's Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Fourth quarter of play. We have switched sides. Obviously, without a scoreboard, it gets a little confusing here. So this is the start of the fourth quarter. And a big reception by Lisher to his left. It's hauled in, taken into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Isaiah Caruvilla on the touchdown reception. And that was a 25-yard touchdown. But is it coming back? There is a flag, and it is. Looks like a hold, and it will come back, it appears. Well, a little heartbreaking for the Hillers there. That will push them back, so erase that touchdown. The score remains 12-8. to Sure, back in at quarterback for Hopkinton. Lisher going to line it up out of the gun. Back to his left, takes the snap, he's going to throw, and it is just over the head of his intended target, Isaiah Caruvilla. Now bring up fourth down. Now you'll see Sam Pantera back into the game as the quarterback for Hopkins, and it appears. And it looks like actually Lisher is going to stay out there. Pantera started walking out. They might kick it away here. They might try to pin uh, the Falcons back. So it looks like they will try to kick it away here. Paul Isher is lined up as the punter. And he gets a pretty good one off, and that'll sail back to about the 15. And not much of a return. And we will see the Mash P offense come out here in this fourth quarter and try to erase the Hillers' four-point lead. Well, this has turned into a display of two pretty good defenses. Some great stops defensively on both sides. Again, the Hillers have a few more stops to walk away with their second victory of the season. We shall find out. Go 
Bozo back out to the huddle. And here comes Mashpee. Bozo going to line it up under center. He'll hand it off, a run up the middle and a wide open gap. Chase Weinstein able to exploit the opening up the middle for a few yards. Ball marked at the 25, gain of five. Second and five for Mashpee. Bozo back out to the Falcons huddle. Mash P offense set to go. I formation in the backfield. And it's going to be a run. Williams gets the call up the middle. He goes charging through defenders. A big run here. He's going to take it all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. And Mashpee takes back the lead. A huge run there. That was all the way from the 25, 75-yard touchdown run. Even Williams finding the end zone for the second time today for the Falcons. And it is now a 14 to 12 lead for Mashpee. They're gonna go for two here. Well, Hiller's defense has played very well all game long, but Williams able to use his speed and find an opening. Ashby will come out of the eye once again. And the snap is dropped, loose ball, but it's picked up by the quarterback who will take it into the end zone. And the two-point conversion is no good. They say he stopped short, that knee must have been down just previous to the goal line, so no good on the two-point conversion. And it remains a 14-12 lead for Mashby. But the Falcons were able to get the lead back. And that is just what they wanted to do after this Hillers defense stopped them on their last few drives. Now we'll see if the Hopkinton offense has a response. And Ashby has to be feeling the momentum right now after making a stop of their own and able to find some momentum with their running backs. Ashby will kick off right to left across your screen. We are in the fourth quarter. It's Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz, our cameraman. And of course, with no scoreboard and a vantage point that's a little off center, not the easiest games to broadcast, but we are certainly happy to be here to bring you a very good football game between these two middle school teams. Jesse Hickey will kick it away for Mashpee. Will they onside once again? They've already done it twice today. No, he's gonna get some air under this one and that's a good kickoff. End over end, back to, to the 20. It takes a Mashpee bounce all the way to the 10. Here comes the return. Up middle and brought down at the 20 yard line. Tommy Chatton on a 10 yard return. Making the tackle was Aiden Cuozo. So here comes the Hillers offense and they will start right around their own 20. We'll see if they can get something going. There as the quarterback for a Hopkinton is Sam Pantera. Hey, 
Panther is going to line it up out of the gun with a back to his right. Two receivers either side. He'll pitch it to the back and a run up the middle. Some pretty good yardage there by Christian Pereira despite the defense getting in almost immediately after the snap. Pereira was able to find a little room for a couple. Second and eight for the Hillers. Of course, with no scoreboard, we're not quite sure how much time is left, but got to imagine that clock is running a bit low here in this fourth quarter. So we'll see if the Pillars can get something going offensively. Pantera out of the gun, back to his left, two receivers to either side. Takes the snap, throws to his left. And it is hauled in, and it, uh, some big yardage here, breaking free into Mashpee territory. And he's gonna be brought down past the Mashpee 40. A huge reception there, and some huge yards after the catch by Ozea Kuruvilla. And that moves the chains in a whole lot more for the Hillers. Hopkinton marked at the Mashpee 40 yard line. And that was a gain of 40 yards on that reception. Kuruvilla just done a little curl there. Got a couple yards out. And Panther put it right in his chest. He's gonna throw again, up the middle. Nearly intercepted, good defensive play. Intended target was Kuruvilla. Second and 10 for the Hillers. We'll see if they continue to throw here. They certainly wanna reserve the time on the clock. I think that's why they're being aggressive with the passing game. A situation like this, it's great lesson. It's a great lesson for uh, the Hillers' offense, as they have to deal with a situation that they have to move quickly. Hopkinton huddles up. Now let's see what they got. Play on, says the official. Pantera, out of the gun, takes the snap. He's gonna throw, and he'll dump it to his running back who's brought down almost immediately. Dan White makes the catch, and a good stop on defense by Jesse Hickey, who was just waiting for it. Ball marked at the 45. It's third and 15 for the Hillers. They'll need a big play here. out to the huddle. Sam Pantera out of the gun, a back to his right, two receivers either side, takes the snap, and we'll have some whistles here. I think it might be against the Hillers. False start, that's gonna move him back. Pushes them to midfield. So now it's third and 20. A 14 to 12 lead for Mashpee. They were able to find the end zone here in this fourth quarter. A big 75 yard run by Stephen Williams. A running back who I'd imagine you'll see do very well at the high school level if he sticks with it as Pantera is going to roll to his left under pressure almost immediately after the snap and he's brought down for a loss. Great job by the Mash P defense. It'll bring up fourth down. 
Well, this has been a good competitive football game by these two teams. A lot of fun to watch. Both of these teams showing off a very good skill set on both sides of the ball. And I think there's a lot of potential great talent here on both sides. Hopkinton facing a fourth down situation. They're marked at their own 47 yard line. They need to get to the mash peak 30 for the first down. Fourth and 23 to go. Pantera takes the snap, looking to throw, going to air it out up the left side, and it's in and out of the arms of his intended target, Caruvilla. A good throw by Panther of Caruvilla, unable to haul it in, but there was some great defensive coverage by Stephen Jones. Ashby was covering him up nicely. I think they had a feeling that the Hillers might try to go to Caruvilla. So Mash P will have the turnover on downs. And it is first and 10 in Hiller's territory. Mash P working right to left from the Hiller's 47. And I think they're just going to run the ball a whole lot to run out the clock here in this fourth quarter. Ashby offense, back up to the line they go. Quarterback under center, he'll go to Williams. Williams finding some room up the far sideline. There he goes, pushed out of bounds just before the 20. Big gain there for the Falcons. Ball will be marked at the Hillers right on the 20, or just prior to it. Aiden Cuozo back out to the huddle. I formation. Receiver to either side. Williams gets the call. Here he goes. A wide open left side, and he takes advantage of it. Touchdown, Mashby. A 20-yard touchdown by Stephen Williams. And it is 20 to 12, Mashpee. And they will attempt two. Well, Stephen Williams, certainly your player of the game. Three uh, two touchdowns. For the speedy Stephen Williams. For middle school football on the conversion, the ball is marked at the three. Well, the Hillers defense, they had a nice game. They shut out Mashpee for two quarters. And it was just a good all-around team effort for both of these teams. And these are the kinds of games that you're going to learn all kinds of lessons about the game as you face a whole lot of different situations. High formation for Mash P. Handoff right up the middle by the big man, Jesse Hickey. And he's stopped short of the goal line. Great stop there by the Hillers. Getting the wrap and bringing him down was Wyatt Stevens. So we'll see the Hillers receive. Ash P going to try to hold their lead for the victory. It is a 20 to 12 game. So if Hopkinton somehow is able to find the end zone and the two point conversion, we'll have a tie ball game. 
We don't have a scoreboard to see how much time is left, but I'd imagine time running a bit low. Smash P will get set to kick it away. Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, Sean Ritz on camera. It's been a terrific game between these two very good middle school football teams. Mashpee and Hopkinton. Back and forth momentum shifts all game long. Here comes Mashpee to kick it away. John Myers on the kickoff. Now they're gonna switch it up and they'll have Mark Lavoie on the kickoff. Back to the 40 it goes. And it is going to be returned for a couple. Took a mash P bounce to about the 35 before being returned for a couple yards by Tommy Chatton. And the Hillers offense will have to work quickly, trailing by eight. They actually marked the ball at about the 38. So let's see what this Hillers offense can do. And at quarterback for Hopkinton, it's Robert Lisher. I'd imagine we'll see some pass attempts here. Lisher going to line it up out of the gun, back to his left, two receivers either side. Fakes the handoff, play action. He's gonna take this himself. Some yardage along the far side. There he goes across midfield along the sideline. He's pushed out of bounds just before the 30. A huge gain there. Hillers call timeout to save the time on the clock. A huge gain by Lisher and the Hillers are in business it is 20 to 12, Mash P leading in the fourth quarter, but the Hillers driving upfield, and they have an opportunity for a touchdown, a two point conversion to tie things up. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Middle School Football on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this? once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Continuing on in the fourth quarter, under two minutes left to go. We've heard uh, some of the officials signal it's under two minutes. Hopkinton in Mashpee territory after a huge gain of 30 yards on a run. That was on a keeper by Lisher. And now in that quarterback is Pantera and he will try to work his way up the middle, pushing defenders forward. Good for a couple. I think the Hillers used the timeout to stop the clock. Ball is marked at the Ashpee 30. They need to get to about the 23 for the first down. Second and seven. Sam Panther out there as the quarterback. Line it up out of the gun. Will Masterson, the running back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. He'll drop the snap. Under pressure, throws to his left. Finds a target. And it is going to end up being a gain for the Hillers. Good job by Pantera. Dropped the snap. It was a low snap, but was able to pick it right back up and fire it right into the chest of a target for a gain. 
believe that was Paul Isher who ended up making the catch. And we'll have another timeout called here to stop the clock for the Hillers. And they'll talk things over along the sidelines. Can the Hillers do it? Can they get back into this game? Can they find the end zone? Find out next on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. We just heard down from field level from the official, 42 seconds left to go. It is a 20 to 12 lead for Mashpee, but the Hillers threatening. A touchdown and two point conversion ties things up. And they are working in Mashpee territory. Hillers have the ball right around the 22 yard line. Here we go, in that quarterback for Hopkinson is Lisher and the snap's gonna get by him. Picks it up in the backfield, looking downfield. He's gonna throw to his right and it's hauled in by Tommy Chatton and Chatton is brought down. Well, it's a nice job by Lisher getting the throw away and we'll see where they mark him. I believe it will end up being a loss. I'm not sure if he got out of bounds, but no, there was a timeout. So I believe that's the Hiller's last timeout. So he did end up uh, with a little bit of a gain there. So that's a big break for the Hillers. That could have been a very bad loss, but nice job by the quarterback, Robert Lisher, dealing with the rough snap and able to get it away. Keep the Hillers' hopes alive. And of course, the middle school games do end in ties as well. I'm sure Hopkinson would rather have the uh, tie over a loss, but either way, this has been a fun-filled game. Both of these teams, very good teams on both sides of the ball. A lot of fun to watch. And I think if uh, you keep these rosters a few years from now, there'll be many of these players on their high school teams. The Hillers offense back up to the line. Robert Lisher set to go. Back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap, he's gonna throw. Throws to his right, airs it out, and it's off the chest of his intended target. It was a beauty of a throw, but Andrew Budden not able to reel it in. That'll bring up third down. That was a very well thrown ball. Just too bad the receiver unable to make the catch. There was certainly some gas on that throw as well. So the Hillers will have a couple more shots at the end zone before this game comes to an end. A 20 to 12 lead for Mashpee. Mashpee has recorded 12 unanswered points. Let's see if the Hillers can respond here. Robert Lisher, out of the gun, back to his right. Takes the snap, rolls to his left under pressure. He has wide open space in front of him. He might try to take this himself, and he does. And he's brought down around the five, I believe. And it looks like they're gonna mark him right on the five. The Hiller is quick to get back up to the line. They gotta hurry it up. Here we go, big opportunity here. Lisher takes the snap, looks to his right, throws to his right, and it's knocked down by the defender. Pass intended for Andrew Budden, and it was knocked down by Stephen Jones. Good defensive play there. Second and goal for the Hillers from the mash P5. And I would imagine that they have one or two plays left at the most, time-wise. Hey. 
HP. I believe we called a timeout, which gave the Hillers a little extra time to talk things over. Here we go. Let's see what the offense can do. Second and goal from the Mash P5. Lisher out of the pistol, takes the snap, throws to his left, and it's dropped. Dropped by his intended target. And that is, I believe, going to do it. That was the last opportunity the Hillers had. Time runs out. Mashpee wins the game, but the Hillers certainly have nothing to hang their heads about. It was a very well-played game, and both teams certainly a whole lot of talent that I look forward to hopefully seeing a few years from now at the high school level, a very fun football game between Mashpee and Hopkinton. The Mashpee Falcons defeat the Hopkinton Hillers 20-12. This has been Hopkinton Middle School Football on H Camp for John Ritz. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time is Match B over Hopkinton, 20 to 12. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day, folks.